one of the things that's most important to do is to have complete skin exams on a regular basis. And if there is a change in the mold, it's one of the biggest, most clear signs that potentially something could be amiss. If you look at the picture of the lesion, you would see this was the spot that he had, and it's um, within the mold. He had a mold then, started to develop an early melanoma. And I see more and more of those things happening. I'm not sure why, perhaps due to pollution or due to you know the things that we eat, sun that we're exposed to, other things. Because if it was just the sun alone, you would have had a lot of other skin cancers which are much more common, like basal, that he's never had. Thank God, hopefully, we'll never have. So there is a lot of immunity related to how melanoma forms. Some believe that it's more due to the exposure of ultraviolet A, intermittent exposure to ultraviolet A rays, which are not giving the sign that you're exposed too much to it because it doesn't cause you the sensation of a burn that you have with the ultraviolet B, which are the stronger ultraviolet radiation and are more responsible for the basal and squamous cell formation. The doctor took my shirt off, immediately looked at me and said, I don't like that. He said, I don't believe it's going to be any problems, but it was his instinct and his, and his knowledge of what he saw. I would have never seen it. I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. But it was his instinct that said to me, I don't really like that, Anthony. I'm just going to take that off. And I said, absolutely, Dr. So. And that's how we got here today. Thank you. No, thank you.